Hello. In this reaction, or in this video, I'm going to talk about the Wolf Kishner reduction. Uh, the Wolf Kishner reduction is an application of converting an aldehyde ketone first to uh, a hydrazine using using hydrazine, and we're going to add acid, and we're going to have H plus, and we're going to remove water as it forms. And I have zoomed out. I don't want to do that. There we go. Uh, and so if you convert, say, cyclohexanone to its hydrazone, then it, an interesting thing can happen to this, and it is a reduction, but does not use... The, the reduction actually happened in the first step from a, from a technical standpoint, because the second reaction isn't going to, to look like a, a reduction that you recognize. But... If you take that hydrozone and dissolve it in 50% potassium hydroxide, so that's 50% potassium hydroxide by mass rest water, and you heat the darn thing up, you are going to get a decomposition of hydrozone to give, wait for it, hydrocarbon. So here's another reaction that can serve to remove, ultimately remove a carbonyl group and replace it with a hydrocarbon. So it's another deoxygenation reaction. This mechanism has a fair number of proton transfers. So even though uh, it is in strong base, there's just uh, a number of, of proton transfers to, to walk through. So what I'm going to present it to, present it to you, it's got some interesting features. Uh, the first is the first part of this reaction is a base mediated isomerization, uh, so it, or, or tautomerization actually. So we're just gonna uh, take this X proton here, form the conjugate base. Drop this over here. Uh, here is my anion. This conjugate base has a resonance structure, another resonance contributor. Where that negative charge could be on the carbon at the other side of the system. And then that carbon picks up uh, a proton from water. Uh, and so as I mentioned, this first step here is actually a Tautomerization. Um, you may be familiar with that term, tautomerization, from the uh, hydration of alkynes, which initially form enols, uh, and then the enol tautomerizes to a ketone. You may also have studied the the, the keto enol tautomerization of aldehydes and ketones, but but just in general, uh, a tautomerization is any sort of isomerization reaction where all you're doing is moving protons around uh, and you're converting through a common conjugate base or conjugate acid. And so what we've just done is move this proton here, this, this proton here in, in, in effect has ended up This proton here has just ended up in a net move over here. Okay, so second max step of this mechanism is an E2 kind. There isn't, isn't a, well, it looks like it's an 
kind of, it's an elimination. We're just going to call it an elimination. It's not an E1 elimination because we're not an acid. Uh, it's it's not an E2 elimination. It's not concerted. Um, it's kind of an elimination where you have a strong base, you do proton transfer first, and then you get loss of leaving group second. We saw this in one of the, you know, if, if you've watched, if you've studied nucleophilic aromatic substitution by elimination addition, this is a similar kind of elimination mechanism where first you form, first you do a proton transfer and form the, uh, Conjugate, firm the conjugate base, and then that conjugate base undergoes loss of leaving group, and you are going to be surprised. We almost never talk about this, but this, this is the leaving group. Let me put this in the. I need, and I need to call attention to this because it is not what we usually see. You know, usually see it's the heteroatoms, the leaving group, and the, the carbon is the substrate. But we we have a carbon leaving group. Right? And, we, and we have this carbanion, which is like uh, a terrifyingly unstable thing. Uh, and we're in water, so it gets protonated really quickly. And so while I have shown uh, some equilibrium arrows for other steps, this step here is really not an equilibrium. Uh, you know, the, the loss of leaving group step is really not an equilibrium. And this proton transfer is really not an equilibrium because carbanions, we're talking about the conjugate acids of things that have pKa's between 40 and 50. And uh, this loss of leaving group step is also really, really, really energetically favored because we are forming nitrogen, which as a gas escapes from the reaction. So there's just no hope that any equilibrium establishes here. Right. So even though this mechanism contains some unlikely looking things, uh, this reaction is driven forward by two essentially irreversible steps, the, the loss of nitrogen gas and uh, the protonation of a carbon ion by water. Okay. Then just go back up here and recap. Any aldehyde or ketone that you can convert into the hydrozone can be reduced to the carb or the hydrogen. The, the um, can be reduced to the hydrocarbon by treating with potassium concentrated hot potassium hydroxide. Right. Thank you for watching.